versus mountain bike. This is a topic we have spoke about before on the channel, but as gravel bikes are evolving more and more, cyclists are looking to push the bikes onto more extreme terrain. Terrain, some would say, is more suited to a mountain bike. But what's the difference between a gravel bike and a mountain bike when they are put to the test on the sand. Which is faster, which is more fun? Well, we're going to find out. This is gravel bike versus mountain bike, Beat Trace Edition. Let's do it. <laughs> There's a reason why I gave this up. Oh. <laughs> We all know by now, I am a big fan of the gravel bike. It is the do-it-all bike. It's comfortable, it can go on-road, off-road. There is no adventure you can't take the gravel bike on. But is a gravel bike really the best bike for the job when it comes to riding on sand? Could a mountain bike be better? Well, I'm no mountain bike expert, so I've dragged along Anna from GMBN Tech to a beat trace in Wales. Yes, you heard it right, a beat trace. We are gonna be battling it out quite literally at Battle on the Beach, Pembrey, to see which bike comes out on top. Anna? Man on. Nice mountain bike. Cool road bike. Uh, it's a gravel bike. Can't you tell by the nice dropped handlebars? Gonna get super aero on the beach. I suppose there is some tread on there, but check out my wide tires. Well, I've got tan sidewalls. Well, I've got even tanner sidewalls. Yeah, that is true. Um, well, I've got a big chain ring. Well, I've got a big chain ring out back. Um, I've got suspension. <laughs> mm, fair enough. I've got DO2 though. Yeah, electronic gear's pretty cool. Mm. See you on the beach then? Yeah, see you on the beach. actually done this race before although it was seven years ago and that was the last time I owned an XC bike so I've got this the Canyon Exceed CFR Limited it is the lightest cross-country bike that Canyon make and my extra small with pedals and tire inserts and tools attached to it is 9.5 kilos now, I think my secret weapon though is 2.25 and 2.35 inch tires which are almost double the width of Manon's and I think they're going to sit on top of all this yellow loose stuff like a boat on water. And for my drivetrain, naturally, I've gone for Shimano XTR Mechanical. It is the lightest off-road drivetrain that Shimano make. And that R stands for racing, something I hope to be doing today. And I know what you roadies are thinking, one by 12, that doesn't sound like a lot. I know you like your front double chain rings and all that, but that cassette is a 10 to 51 tooth. It has 510% range. Uh, my smallest ring is smaller smaller than Manon's and my biggest ring is bigger than Manon's so I can go from hill spin to uh, sand sprint in a matter of seconds. I mean look at it, it's a thing of beauty. It's got five titanium chain rings, it's got Hyperglide Plus which means I can shift under load and my shifter can move four gears in one stroke. I mean I can't lose, can I? Since being here, I have to say, I think I've seen a lot more mountain bikes than gravel bikes. And I'm starting to question my choice of bike. I decided to go and see what other racers were thinking. Cross bike, cross bike all the way for me today, I think. Bad choice, mountain bike all the way for me, husband versus wife. Who's gonna win? <laughs> um, last year I got a gravel bike, but I find that whatever bike you, you ride, you think you should be on somewhere different. So I'm gonna try this one this year. So I've got a live gravel bike that I'm on today, so it's actually a second outing. I've got a mountain bike as well, but I just felt that this would be a bit better to stay on the sand. So I'm doing it on my mountain bike first time. I think I've ridden it about five times before on my cross bike. But, and I always keep changing my mind just before I ride, but this year I've gone for my mountain bike, mainly because last time I did it, I found coming through the single track and the um, dunes at the air, at every lap was just too knackering. Although on the beach, your cross bike kind of tells you that's the right thing to do. We're riding uh, Travers custom built titanium tandem. We're riding it because it's one of the few races where we can actually take part on the tandem. 
So, and it's fun as well. And the other, there's a good reason for coming back. We raced last year and we won beer, so we want to win some more beer this year. <laughs> After a bit of tactical chat with Cy and Connor, who have done this race before, my weapon of choice is the Obeya Terror. Connor did say that I could use El Alto because apparently he thrived in this race last year, got to the front and everything, but I don't think I'd actually get my leg over the top of that bike. So the Obeya Terror, it is a carbon fibre frame, one of Obeya's top of the range gravel bikes. I've paired it with some nice chunky Pirelli tyres, so they're 45s, the biggest that'll actually get on this frame. but bringing this bike together is the Shimano GRX group set. But this group set is the GRX RX815. Got a DI2 2 by 11 speed. Now this group set takes all the best features from Shimano's road and mountain bike group sets and puts them into this group set that can hopefully do it all. I just hope I can do it all today too. I've also got some beautiful Shimano GRX carbon wheels. I have a 3411 cassette and a 4831 up front. Half an hour before the start, Anna, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm excited, but it's looking a bit wet out there. It does look it does. very wet. Hopefully uh, that tide goes out a little bit, because I is, didn't, didn't yeah. think we were going to be doing a triathlon today. <laughs> not, you didn't to sign up. up for that. It's very soft out there. Yeah. I did have a little pedal and it was not good. <laughs> but we are actually gridded in the first 100, which I think is a good thing, because there is over a thousand people racing today, which I think might be the most people I've ever raced with. That is it's a big really crowd crazy. and we're all going at once. There's no yeah. category separation, no. which and is great. I think. Apparently, I had a chat with a few people and you meant to run at the start. <laughs> so, I think we're going to have to if you check yeah, out Yeah, I think it's going to be carnage, sand. so a sprint and then jump on the bike. Yeah, but cyclocross we'll cross style. Yeah. You got that? I mean, a bit, a bit rusty, it's been a while, but <laughs> I'll give it a go. <laughs> right, let's go line up, Anna. Yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> We've got 10 minutes to go, we're on the start line, and this is quite a vibe actually, I'm enjoying it. Got the drums going, everybody's keen to go. There's a lot of pro looking riders around, so I'm quite worried about that. 10 minutes to go. Okay, the start wasn't as bad as I thought, actually. I did go for my running technique off the line, and I think that was a really good thing to do. But I hadn't actually practiced my mounting onto the bike for quite a long time, so I kind of like threw myself onto the bike and it, I literally felt like I was up in the air. But I got on my bike, got clipped in, and I was off. I felt like I was just going backwards. Like they came past me like I was standing still and all of these people were in their nice drop bars and their aero position. And I was just all up like a big old sail. And I just felt like I was riding with the brakes on to be honest. It was pretty scary. Those riders everywhere, there were a few crashes and I did get a bit and comfortably close to being involved with the crash, might have let out a little scream as well. As soon as we got to the single track and we were about to do my favorite bit, the bit I thought I was gonna be making up time on, 
there was an absolute queue, like a proper queue, like people just standing still with bikes. There was probably about 500 riders in front of me trying to get into this tiny little um, climb. And I was just like, oh, great. So I just had to sit there and wait. Um, could have been about a five minute queue. What a British affair, queuing to get into single track. Then we came on to the second lap and we came back on to the really sandy section where we started where there's loads of loose sand and I kind of I was a little bit too scared to hit it with speed because I didn't want to go too fast and end up going over the handlebars so I kind of took a little bit steady kind of got halfway and then I was like I need to get off and run. So the second lap I was properly dreading getting back on the beach and by that time the crowd had spread a bit and there was even less wheels for me to try and jump onto so I basically did a six kilometre uh, time trial into a headwind uh, again and then jumped into the single track it was just everyone patiently going at about walking speed which was a little upsetting because I, I knew I could make up a lot of time there. exactly the same lap again and I kind of was slipping backwards again a few riders starting to overtake me um, which isn't nice but I carried on going On the third and final lap, thank God, this has been super tough, I think I might have gone off a bit fast, I'm definitely paying for it now, my legs are burning, I can take, taste blood in my mouth, and my, oh, everything hurts. bonked so hard that I, could, I wasn't really able to concentrate and steer my bike through the techn technical bit so I really struggled then and I was just like where is the finish where is the finish I even had to ask someone like how long is the finish because I don't know if I'm going to make it because I was rapidly going backwards. I've made it to the finish and my word, I think half of me is still out there because I blew up hard on that last lap. I honestly didn't think I was going to make it to the finish but here I am in one piece. But I think, give me a minute to get my breath to recover and then we'll have a chat.
think I should stick to downhill racing. There's a reason why I gave this up. Oh. <laughs> that hurt. Right, Anna, let's talk a little bit more about how our bikes performed. Did your suspension come in handy today on maybe this nice uh, flat bit is here? No. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, half the first lap I was locked out. I got a lockout and I was just... Were you locked out for most of it? Time. Or? And then when, it, when I was into the dunes, I got quite fatigued by it. But mm. that's more because I'm not used to like gravel and this sort of riding. So I put it back on and had a nice little comfy front end. Yeah. But I guess on that third lap, there was a lot... Well, I found it quite technical in the woods, kind of like really small. I guess your bike was kind of excelling at that. Absolutely. Yeah. Like I couldn't fault it. Like I, I barely touched the brakes. The, it, I just sort of keep pedaling and just float through it. That's and a it was thing. like it was like dancing. I absolutely <laughs> loved that uh, single track. There was just too many people in the way for me to do what I really wanted. Uh, to I feel do. like I was the one getting in the way of other people on that bit because at that point on that third lap, I was seeing stars and I just couldn't keep my bike on the track. I was bouncing off the curbs and everything. And then what about gearing? Because you have a lot easier gears than me and I did get to one point I was like I could do with a good few more gears here <laughs> and it was on those really steep bits you're like I haven't got any more and even in the sand you want to be in quite a low gear as well don't you yeah I'm guessing you didn't have that problem yeah I, I never thought I needed another anything on the gears and I absolutely cannot fault the drivetrain I was like changing it as I was going up some of the climbs because you'd hit the soft stuff and you'd be in too hard a yeah. gear and you think it would be fine but then the soft stuff dragged it out of you and i just crunched through it and it just literally did everything i asked it to mm. so i can't fold that at all there was a few points where i felt like i was doing a bit more of a strength session <laughs> rather than a bike ride because i was in like such a low gear trying to grind but big question now if you were to do this race again which bike would you choose I would choose a gravel bike. Would you? I would absolutely choose a gravel bike, yeah. But I've got to say, I can't blame the bike. <laughs> my fitness level was pretty bad. I'm sure it wasn't. <laughs> but I think I would choose a gravel bike as well. I mean, I don't think the bike really let me down. It was more like my skill riding in sand. I've not done much riding in sand at all. So yeah, I'd go with a gravel bike too. Yeah. Just want to say, Anna, a big thank you for spending your Sunday battling it out on this beach. But if you did enjoy seeing Anna in this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And in the comment section, let us know which one of these would you have chosen? <laughs>